Food Frequency Questionnaire, Wikipedia Audio Food Frequency Questionnaire is a questionnaire used to obtain frequency and, in some cases, portion size information about food and beverage consumption over a specified period of time, typically the past month or year. FFQs are a common dietary assessment tool used in large epidemiologic studies of diet and health. Examples of usage include assessment of intake of vitamins and other nutrients, assessment of the intake of toxins, and estimating the prevalence of dietary patterns such as vegetarianism. It is an example of a dietary assessment tool. AFFQ includes questions on a set of food and beverage items. For each food or beverage item, there may be questions asking about the following. In addition to foods and beverages, FFQs often ask about the frequency of intake and dosages of commonly consumed dietary supplements. Structure and Data Collected AFFQ that aims to capture total dietary intake includes questions on 80 to 120 food and beverage items and takes 30 to 60 minutes to complete. FFQs may be interviewer administered in case of low literacy as well as when being conducted on children. Frequency of consumption, portion size information, which may be framed in terms of portion size for each round of consumption or total portion size. Respondents may be asked to translate usual consumption amount to number of specified units, such as a cup of rice. Some questionnaires include portion size images in an attempt to enhance reporting accuracy, other information, such as frequency of consumption at particular times of the year, or the subtype or brand that people consume. FFQs are intended for individual rather than household use. For very young children, the FFQ may be answered by a parent or guardian instead. FFQs are classified as FFQ is a common method for dietary assessment, i.e., for constructing the respondent's diet history. Some other methods include FFQs as well as other retrospective diet assessment methods have the advantage that they do not directly affect the behavior of the respondent. In contrast, weighted food records may influence the participant's eating behavior. Weighted food records also carry a high respondent burden. One disadvantage of FFQs and other retrospective methods is that they may be less accurate because participants are relying on memory rather than information recorded in real time. Non-quantitative FFQs if they collect only frequency information, and no portion size information, and semi-quantitative FFQs if they collect information on both frequency and portion size. FFQs have the following advantages. FFQs have many disadvantages. 24-hour diet recall, this is a structured interview intended to capture detailed information about all the foods and beverages consumed by the respondent in the last 24 hours. For young children, the parent or guardian may respond on the child's behalf. A variant of this method is the multiple pass recall. Here, after an initial recall, the interviewer goes back to previous questions to clarify further details. Other kinds of diet history interviews, such as narrative diet histories, weighted food diary, the individual records details of food and beverage in the diary at the time of consumption. A variant of this method is estimated food records, where the quantification of food and drink is estimated rather than weighed. Questions Due to some of the concerns surrounding the validity and reliability of FFQs, research using a FFQ generally also tests the validity of the FFQ. 
In a typical research design, the FFQ is validated against another dietary assessment technique on a small population. Once validated, the FFQ can be distributed to a wider population with the same characteristics. The need to validate FFQs against diet recalls or other more reliable methods is a recurrent theme in research and guidance on FFQs. Since FFQs list specific food and beverage items, a FFQ designed for and validated against one population is not valid for other populations. Therefore, FFQs must be appropriately modified and revalidated against new populations. A few key challenges include A number of standard FFQs are available for adults in the United States. There is also research based on FFQs in the United Kingdom, although weighted food records are more common there. FFQs have also been developed in Sweden and other northern and western European countries. There has been some research on FFQs in other regions, such as the Middle East and Mediterranean, Sri Lanka, and Shanghai, China. The list below is drawn from existing lists of food frequency questionnaires. All questionnaires in the list below are validated through multiple research studies. Calculations for nutrient intake can be estimated via computerized software programs that multiply the reported frequency of each food by the amount of nutrient in a serving of that food. Databases commonly used for this purpose are listed below. Note that to estimate total nutrient intake, it is necessary to include dietary supplements in the FFQ and add the nutrient intake from these particularly when dealing with populations where the consumption of dietary supplements is common. For non-quantitative FFQs, nutrient intake cannot be calculated as accurately, but the FFQ can still be used to get a rough idea of nutrient consumption. A related use of FFQs is to determine how much people consume broad groups of foods. Examples of such food groups are fruits, vegetables, and added sugars. A useful database for this purpose is the USDA's Food Patterns Equivalence Database. Length and Administration Format Types of FFQs In the United States, data from NHANES is used to provide nationwide comparison data. They can better capture consumption of foods consumed occasionally or episodically than the 24-hour diet recall. For instance, if people habitually consume alcohol more on Fridays, then a 24-hour diet recall conducted on Tuesday will underestimate the extent of alcohol consumption, whereas a well-designed FFQ can capture the information they are easier to administer to literate populations at large scale and also easier to process than diet recalls. Relation with other assessment tools Similar diet assessment tools Advantages and disadvantages relative to weighted food records Advantages and disadvantages relative to the 24-hour diet recall Validation of FFQs using other methods FFQs can be used for a variety of population level analyses. Due to the longer time period involved, FFQs are more dependent on people having good memory as well as being able to accurately estimate the frequency of rare events. These are cognitively complex tasks that require good generic memory. FFQs lack detailed information on how the food was prepared as well as information on exactly how much was consumed and when, since FFQs are limited to a fixed list of foods, they may not capture eating patterns of people who have very different eating patterns, FFQs are more subject to social desirability bias with people over-reporting the extent of consumption of healthy foods such as fruits and vegetables.
the low validity of FFQs has made them a subject of criticism. Walter Willett, developer of the Harvard FFQ, estimated a correlation of 0.60 to 0.70 between standard FFQs and diet recalls. Different populations consume different sets of foods and beverages, so the list of items in a FFQ validated against one population may not cover all the items for the other population, even when the items match in name. The methods of preparation may differ significantly enough that results from one FFQ may not be applicable to a different FFQ. Different populations use different languages, so the FFQ needs to be translated. Even when populations use the same language, the jargon for specific food items can differ. Thus, for instance, in order to administer the diet history questionnaire in Canada, a Canadian version, CDHQ2, was created. Alan R. Crystal, Ulrich Peters and John D. Potter wrote in their article Is it time to abandon the food frequency questionnaire? That there was not much scope to learn more from FFQs, and that a more curious and exploratory approach was needed to uncover new insights on diet and its correlation with health status. The United States Department of Agriculture Food and Nutrient Database for Dietary Studies, which in turn is based on the USDA National Nutrient Database. To incorporate the effect of dietary supplements, the USDA Dietary Supplement Integrated Database can be used. The University of Minnesota Nutrition Coordinating Center S Food and Nutrient Database. Food Frequency Questionnaires in Use The National Cancer Institute has argued that through careful bias correction, some of the limitations of FFQs can be overcome, and they can be very useful. Specificity to Populations Estimation of total consumption of specific foods, food groups, and nutrients in a population Estimation of the correlation between patterns of food consumption and other non-diet variables, such as health status or specific medical conditions. Estimation of the effectiveness of interventions to change diet. In this experimental design, both the experiment subjects and the control group are asked to fill in the FFQ before and after the intervention and changes in food consumption patterns for the experimental group are measured. However, because of concern about potential differential response bias due to the tendency of the intervention group to misreport their diets to a greater extent than the control group, use of an FFQ as the sole evaluation method should be carefully considered. Common FFQs in the United States Analysis of data Calculation of nutrient intake Calculation of food groups consumed Comparison data Population level analyses Criticism